Groponi in the community is something that the Groponi family started. You get to leave work, volunteer for the day, and then at the end of your, your hours there, they give you a $500 check which you can give to the charity. The Groponi family is so involved in the community. It's just their way of giving back, but also involving employees to help employees have the opportunity to give back. A lot of us are working eight and 10 hour days, so you don't always have the chance during the week to get out and do this. Groponi in the community actually is the very idea that I have for Friends of Forgotten Children. Unless somebody comes to my building and takes the tour with me, they can write all the checks that they want, but it's never going to mean anything until they, they see what we do. It's easy to give financially, but it's ten times more rewarding to give of your time and yourself to come and help people. You feel like you're doing something good for them, but in essence, they're doing something huge for you. Welcome to Friends of Forgotten Children's 38th year of Christmas giving. Right now we're packing up gifts, uh, Christmas gifts for about 650 kids. So we're getting a list of names uh, with the children on it, what their likes are, their dislikes, their sizes, and then actually we're having a ball. I said, if I was a little boy, definitely would want the remote control car. Yay! Size 8! Linda came in to pack toys and she's in the back room now organizing files and paperwork and making our life easier for the next three days when parents come to get their kids gifts. We kind of got a backlog at the paper table so I just kind of transitioned from filling bags to being okay I'm going to be the end result where they drop the bags back off so it kind of got the flow going again. I mean that's one of my jobs at work so it was easy to kind of take what I do at work and come in here and, and help to organize and get the paper flow going a little bit easier so that people were constantly working to fill bags. You know, having that new level of, of volunteerism, that new energy, that's what we need over and over again. I mean, we, we can only go so long with, with the same folks, and the same folks are great, but we need new ideas, we need new blood, and that's what she's giving us. These nonprofits need everybody's skills. We take for granted, we do our jobs day in and day out. It comes very easily, but you know, it's kind of nice that you have the skills from work, so when you come in to volunteer at a nonprofit organization, those skills easily transition right in with you. rely on people like you and me to come out and help them because without us they're stuck doing it all by themselves and it's a big job. We wouldn't have been able to get to this point without you or continue this year without you so thank you very much for coming and let's have a good time. I want, I want a quality individual. I want somebody that wants to be here, somebody that wants to give back and do good. Um, being in a corporate setting it's got to be the same thing. If they're in it and they, they believe in what the mission of the company is, you know, to give back and, and to do to do good work, then the company's gonna grow in leaps and bounds. I'm sure that the Graponi family definitely has a suspicion that as they send people out, you can't go and just volunteer once. When you're excited about something, it's contagious. Everybody wants to, to come and do it. We are growing the brand through quality volunteers that then tell their friends and their coworkers and that, that gets us a lot of support. I would hope my coworkers are running out to do this. If they're not, they should be. Um, it's phenomenal. It's, it's just such a great thing. You feel so good about yourself and what you're doing for somebody that you actually get more out of it than what you're giving to. It's amazing.